We had a beautiful sunset earlier on today. Many of you sent in some photos to our 13 Weather Authority photo community. This one's by Peter Swanson, uh, getting a nice reflection of that sunlight on the river and uh, the sunsets, as well as uh, the warm weather setting, so to speak, on us as we go into the night, uh, because we've got extra chilly air for tonight and the next couple days, taking a bit of a detour into late February weather, rather than seeing uh, the 60s like we experienced for a second day in a row. This is close to 10 degrees above average, but we'll be 10 degrees below average by tomorrow, all thanks to that chilly air settling in quickly. You can see we're already down into the upper 40s over the last several hours, all thanks to a uh, rush of colder air coming in from Canada. So the result is we'll see temperatures in the 30s to possibly bordering on the 20s late tonight for a few spots. Uh, so that colder air continues to catch up with us, meaning we drop another 17 degrees or so late overnight, and it's going to stay that way for the next couple of days. We'll see 40s for highs uh, the next two days. Again, 20 degrees cold colder than today and with the uh chilly air settling in. That means the next couple nights going to be extra brisk. We'll see the 20s starting tonight and the next several nights in a row. So well below freezing, a bit of a hard freeze on the way as we go into the middle of the week. On top of that, wind chills may be at their worst Thursday morning. We're looking at the teens for wind chills and a few spots may even be dipping into the upper single digits for the wind chills heading into Thursday morning. So for tonight, not quite as brisk, but we're down into the upper 20s under a clearing sky. Winds definitely settling down after another breezy day. We should have fairly quiet conditions going into tomorrow morning. This is still fairly close to average, but the afternoon conditions is when we'll definitely notice a difference out there. Low 40s for highs despite all that sunshine feels more like 35 or colder with the wind chill in play thanks to some breezy winds gusting up at 25 miles per hour. Rockford only topping out at 44. Again, about 10 degrees or so below average under a bright sunny sky. So March definitely ending on a cold note and uh, the start of April April. Uh, definitely not looking that much warmer as we go into Thursday morning. You can see wind chills will be down into the low teens, like I mentioned just a second ago. So extra chilly conditions just around the corner for the start of April. We only get back to around 30 or so for the wind chill going into Thursday afternoon. However, wait a couple days and things change a lot. After Thursday, where we only top out in the middle 40s, we're back to the low 70s for the first time this year going into Sunday under bright sunny conditions. Uh, that's nearly a 30 degree warm up. So we drop 20 degrees going into tomorrow and then warm up even more than that going into the end of this week. Got a bit of temperature whiplash going on over the next seven days or so. Lots of sunshine with all of this. Sometimes when we have these big temperature swings, we see thunderstorms. Not the case this week. Quiet conditions throughout the remainder of the week. We see rain next week. However, we'll keep an eye on Tuesday for that first chance. As you can see, the weather staying warmer next week, so we don't have any colder weather coming right back in. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, the things will stay spring like as we get into the heart of April, upper 60s to low 70s with more scattered showers and thunderstorms. James, very happy to see those 70s on that 10 day. Alex, thanks. Still to come.